Hi, my name is Walid Pari. I'm a storage specialist solution architect working at AWS. In this demo, I have an environment with a Windows and Linux client used as my access points and a single target Amazon S3 bucket that I'm using for my data lake bucket. I will firstly transfer local data from the Windows client to an SMB share presented by File Gateway, where it will store the data in my S3 bucket in a folder I have created. Next, I will show how to use AWS DataSync to perform a bulk transfer of data from an SMB file share to that same S3 bucket, but to a different folder. And lastly, I will use the SFTP client on the Linux server to transfer data using AWS Transfer for SFTP endpoint I have configured to store data in the same S3 bucket, but again to a different folder. We are logged into the AWS S3 console and we're looking at the S3 bucket that I'm going to populate with data. I have pre-created some folders in the S3 bucket that I'm going to load the data into. Firstly, let's verify the bucket is currently empty by navigating through the folders. Now, in the first part of the demo, I'm going to use the SMB file share presented by the file gateway to my Windows client to ingest data into this S3 bucket. As you can see, I have pre-created this file share pointing to my target Data Lake S3 bucket. Let's go ahead and now transfer some data. Now, on the Windows client, I've already mounted this SMB file share as the H drive. I'm going to copy local data stored on the C drive to this file gateway file share. This file will now hit the local cache of the file gateway and be uploaded to the Amazon S3 bucket. Now, let's go ahead and verify that that data has been uploaded to our S3 bucket. As you can see, the file has been uploaded. Next, let's look at ingesting data into our S3 bucket using SFTP client using my Linux server. I have pre-created a fully managed AWS transfer for SFTP instance and created an SFTP user with a home drive pointing to another folder in our S3 bucket. This will mean the data the user uploads will land in our S3 bucket. Let's connect to our Linux client. This is the file that we want to transfer. Next, let's connect to the transfer for SFTP instance using SFTP. Let's verify the home directory of our SFTP user. We can see that it points to our S3 bucket. Let's go and upload this file into this S3 bucket. As you can see, we have successfully uploaded the file into our S3 bucket. Let's go view this file now in the S3 console. As you can see, the file has been uploaded successfully to Amazon S3. Next, we will look at AWS DataSync to automate the transfer of data with speed in mind. Now, I have pre-created a transfer task to read from an SMB share and write to a different folder in our target S3 bucket. Note, you can run a task manually, defined by schedule, or scripted via CLI and API calls. Let's go ahead and check out the source SMB details, which I'm hosting from a Windows server, where this could be your NAS. And this is the data that we want to copy across once we verify the source SMB path. So here we are, this is the data that we want to copy across. Okay, let's go ahead and start the data task. We can view the progress of the task. Let's skip to the end. We can see a successful transfer and we have provided details on the transfer. Note these numbers are low due to a small demo I'm running. Okay, let's go check out our S3 bucket to see that the data has been copied across. Okay, let's refresh. And we can see our data has been successfully transferred across. What if you need to perform bulk transfers but didn't have network bandwidth to use? This is where you could order a Snowball Edge device on-premise and copy your local data to it. Then send the Snowball Edge device back to AWS for it to be uploaded to your S3 bucket, where it could look something like this. 
In summary, in this demo, you have seen that we were able to use different traditional protocols, such as file shares and SFTP, to ingest data into our data lake, whether it's per file generated, or for fast online bulk transfers, or offline bulk transfers.